On today's ChurchTechCast.com screencast show, adding a two-page PDF in ProPresenter. Hi, and welcome again to the ChurchTechCast.com screencast show. This is the show where every week I show you all about using some software that we use in the church. Lately, it's been ProPresenter. My name is Paul Allen Clifford. I'm your host, and I'd love for you to ask your questions and leave your feedback, so just do that below the video. If you're more of an email person, paul at trinitydigitalmedia.com, or just head over to trinitydigitalmedia.com slash contact. That's a great place because I've got all my contact information listed there, so you can see all the ways to get in touch with me, or you can just leave your comment right there. That works too. So I got this question from someone who said, I would love to put up two pages of a two-page lead sheet in ProPresenter in the, uh, in the stage display. And I thought, I don't think ProPresenter lets you do that. Then I thought, I wonder if I can make it do it anyway. So I figured out how to do that. Let's head on over to my computer because it's a little bit uh, intensive. Okay, so as you know, adding in a PDF in ProPresenter is pretty straightforward. What you do is you right click here and you go to edit slide and then we have this chord chart place right here. You click on it, tell it where you want it, choose the page from the PDF, you're good. But if you need two pages, this won't let you select two pages. You've got to choose one or the other. So let's, let me show you how to get around that problem. First, let's open up the PDF in Preview. So Preview comes with every Mac, and I've just highlighted that because I was getting the um, lyrics over here. But let's say that this was a lead sheet instead of uh, a script for a uh, spoof song or spoof song medley, as the case may be. How would I get both pages? Because you can see right here's the page break, so there's page one and page two. How would I get both pages over here into ProPresenter? Well, here's what we're going to do. First, we're going to go to File, Print, and then from print, see where it says preview here? We're going to click next to that and go to layout. This is the secret sauce here. Pages per sheet. Wouldn't it be great if we could put on two pages? There we go. Two pages. Now we need to save that instead of printing it. We could print, scan it. Too much work. Let's instead just print it as a PDF. So I think the easiest way to do that is go down here where it says PDF and save as PDF. So when that dialog box comes up here in just a second, assuming I don't have too many things going on in the background. Okay, so there is my PDF. Let's give it a name so I know which one that is. To page. I could, of course, call it anything I want, but uh, let's just put this on the desktop, shall we, so that it's nice and easy to find. And um, sorry. trying to show you the save button. That's right here, right below where you can see. So just trust me, click save. So we do that, it processes it, now we can get out a preview. Command Q, or I could just shut it down. So now I can, back here, go to chord chart, either remove the chord chart or change. I'm going to click change, and then I'm going to go to desktop, where I have this. And it doesn't have to be the desktop, of course. It can be just wherever it's saved. And there's the new one, which I have just created. And I'm going to click Choose. 
Now it's not going to ask me which page because it's two pages. But let's go ahead and let's uh, let me show you what I've done over here in preferences because this is kind of side by side. And uh, what I need to do is I need to configure the stage display. And you'll see I've made a big window for the chord chart. That's what I advise that you do, is if you're going to use this method, you're going to lose some real estate because it's quite frankly much smaller. But you could uh, just tweak the next slide and current slide windows like I'm doing right here so that those compensate for the fact that we have such a large amount of area over here for that PDF. So once we do that, then you'll be able to see the PDF in the stage display when we're on that particular page. Well, I hope that helped you. I hope that should you have that need, it's no big deal. You can just go through that same process and add both sheets. Now, of course, it's not going to be as big as the single sheet, but sometimes since you can add a different PDF on each uh, page of lyrics, sometimes you'll need to straddle two pages, and this would be a good trick to do because you just need a little something to remind your musicians. If you find this information helpful, why not subscribe to my email newsletter, which you can do by heading over to Trinity digitalmedia.com slash gifts, G-I-F-T-S. And there, I've got some church tech gifts for you and a free subscription to my newsletter where I tell you even more tips and tricks and let you in on some of the new things that are happening over at trinitydigitalmedia.com. Until next time, go out and change eternity. This is Paul Allen Clifford with trinitydigitalmedia.com.